So we're just approaching that time when we remember James's birthday, the anniversary of his birthday, 24th of June. Uh, he was born in 1990. Um, it's 2020 now. So we'd have been celebrating his 30th birthday. And uh, yeah, I think we'd always said, you know, once he'd passed away, we always said, you know, we'd do something um, at this time, especially to remember him on his 30th birthday. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's the reason for this video. Um, wow. It's, it's weird, really. It's all very strange. Um, our lives have changed drastically. So much has changed since then, just six and a half years since James died. Um, you know, personally, we've changed. Our, our work's changed. Our relationships have changed everything. Our family's changed. Um, and I guess, I guess I'm at a stage where, I don't know, I sort of, it's almost like, you know, it's six and a half years since I last saw James and I don't cry a lot these days and don't feel those huge surges of emotion that you get in the early days or years of grief. You know, that subsides. Um, and that just, that feels sad even in itself. You know, just that uh, I, don't, I don't have those surges of emotion anymore. I don't feel that same level of pain or grief or sadness or despair or, you know, and maybe in some ways they were a good thing. They sort of kept me more connected. Um, you know, so I have great memories, wonderful memories of James. So much to be thankful for. I'm very content, you know, um, very content, really. And uh, very thankful for where we are as a family, just where God's brought us to. It's really good. Um, and just thankful for his life and really praising God. You know, G James is with Jesus. I... I can't imagine anything more wonderful, really. Um, honestly, the hope that brings to me, I know to Jan and I, and our family is just another level. I don't know how people get through this stuff without Jesus. It's truth, you know, it's just truth uh, to hang on to, to hope in. We will be united with James in Christ at the end of the age and that's amazing so I'm sitting in the room where um, really James spent those last eight ten weeks of his life James and I spent hours together in this room it used to be a bedroom it's now our front sitting room um, and he got to the point where he couldn't get up and down the stairs anymore because he was so sick so he said can you move me downstairs so we just moved everything downstairs into this room and yeah, spent hours here with him in those last eight, ten weeks. Um, so, you know, you can see behind me, I've got this photo of James. It's lovely. I really love this photo. This is him on his, um, him on his 18th birthday. Me and him out together. Of course, James was a musician, so we've got his guitars up on the wall. Um, you know, things like that, which are, which are just great. Really, really good. We've got some other things in the room. Um, we've got this this quilt which goes in a in a, a memory box that we've got in the room here. We've got this lovely photo that a friend did for us um, in the June before James died. Just they did some family photos for us. Hannah's got this poem up on the wall. You can't really see it, but. Yeah, this is our room. We've got this memory box full of stuff. You know, just, just things to remember, James. Just things that just help us remember and talk about him. Uh, just because he was a wonderful son and we were so grateful for his life. And, uh, yeah, so thankful for him. Um, yeah, so just praising God today. You know, we're thankful that he's he's restored and well. He's not suffering, you know, the horrible effects of cancer anymore. 
we're thankful that our families together are close um, and that although you know to varying degrees we all still feel huge loss and huge pain you know to varying degrees i think you know we're we're doing okay maybe um yeah so just remembering um him and uh you know he was he was incredible at the end i don't i don't know how he got through this um i think members of our family have said if anyone was going to go through this james was the best person to go through it he was so really um just seemed to be very level very content you know he didn't like being sick he wasn't happy about the thought of dying but and although he was scared um he didn't live like there there wasn't this massive fear for him um you know we used those last weeks just to really spend time together just make sure we knew everybody loved each other special times together which was great in this room you know him sharing his last thoughts with us you know what did he what did we he want us to do with his ashes and you know how we wanted how he wanted us to remember him over the years hence some of the things we've got in this room the memory box and uh, the quilt with all of james's like that's made out of james's shirts and things and some memories from essex um, he loved essex um, I guess really one of the things that struck me, I remember sitting with James, um, I guess this will just tell you a bit about him. Um, I remember just sitting with him on the bed here one day and uh, we were just talking and praying. Um, I don't know, maybe shedding a tear together. And he says, he says to me, and I think Jan was there as well, he says to me, you know, he says, um, he says, don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. Really, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm absolutely assured of my life in Christ and that I will be okay. And he said this, he said, look after Louise for us, uh, our eldest daughter. Um, look after my sisters, you know, the family. And wow, well, you know inspiring even even to you know almost the very end there just his softness his gentleness his a short you know this quiet confidence he had in christ um you know he'd, he'd got hold of truth um the truth of jesus which had transformed his life and to the end, he's thinking, you know, look after my sister, you know, Louise especially, but look after the family. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. And wow, he was, he was an absolute inspiration to the very end. I remember the day, Saturday morning, um, he was deteriorating here in this room. And I think the nurses said, you know, you need to get the family together. And I said goodbye to him and went out that door there went to collect Hannah she was at work and uh, I remember returning and Jan saying he's gone he, you know just you said goodbye to him you went out the door and just a few minutes later that was it he was gone and that's my last memories really of, of James our wonderful son um, James Michael Godwin praise God for his life Praise God that we'll see him again. Thank God for Jesus who makes all this possible. Yeah, great job.